Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to part two of our complete fresh stream setup. Today, we're gonna to be using what we built in part one. If you haven't watched that, it'll be over there in the card. Uh, but we're gonna be building off of that and now we're gonna be adding in all the fancy stream elements things and show So I will show you how to set up several things in there um, And then you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use I would go with simplicity is better Don't use everything I show but you can definitely use some of them by the way I'm in my new standing desk setup just testing this look out uh, We're gonna you know change it up mess it up um, and hopefully fix it back but eventually I'll do a video about how all this is set up. Everything is currently connected to my desk. So if I raise or lower my desk, it goes with it. Anyway, that was pretty cool. With that said, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? We got a little bit of inception going on, but this is our OBS that we are currently working in that we're doing some fun stuff in. By the way, guys, if you're not already, be sure you follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday pretty late at night, about 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. So if you are a night owl like myself, hey, come hang out sometime, play some games, have some fun. All right, so this is what we're working on, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the full screen. And really, I think the only thing I want to add here is up in this top, I think I want to have a spot that has uh, maybe most recent follower and uh, maybe most recent sub. And just so we have that in this little top bar right here. Um, and maybe down here we'll add the little cup whenever bits and stuff come in that, you know, they fall down and they land in here. I think that would kind of look nice. Um, so let's jump over into stream elements and build that. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is go to streamelements.com. Um, go ahead and sign in with whatever you're on. I'm signed in with Twitch, so I'm gonna go forward with that. Then you're going to go to my overlays. Then create a blank overlay. We're gonna start blank just like this. Um, I'm just going to go 1080 because that's the resolution I am on. And now I'm going to move forward and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um, if I'm going to build out multiple overlays, I'm going to try to keep it to just this scene. So we'll see if we can get it to work like that. Um, there we go. So one way we can do this is rather than even having this image in OBS, we can put this image directly into stream elements. And so now everything would be in the same scene. Um, so let's, let's try to do that first. Go to static, image, set image, and you're gonna have to upload it here and go and find your image. There we go. Drag your image in just like that. Click upload, uh, submit. Now it's gonna be there. And now if you go over here to position um, size, you can go to center widget, set it to 1920 by 1080, because that's our resolution, uh, 1080. And you may have to go and hit center widget again. There we go. It is perfectly centered, perfectly in the way. So. Now we're going to hit our plus sign again, and we're going to want a label. So we're going to want our latest subscriber. So we're just going to click that. And you see it has it right here. Uh, simple enough, uh, but I think it's really big. So we're going to go latest sub, um, keep it at name. And then let's see if we can go in and change the text to something that looks a little bit better. I usually use poppins. Poppins be poppin'. Something like that. Um, and you can kind of adjust this how you'd want. Bold. Alex, underline, whatever you want to do. I was thinking there was a way to make it all caps. There we go. So we want to go with it just like that. And now your latest sub will always be showing. You can hit your plus sign, go over here to static, um, go to, sorry, hit your plus sign, go to labels, go to followers, your latest and latest follower. And we're just going to do the same thing um, just like this. And so we can have both of these right here. Uh, this is one way to do it. Another way is to do the alpha gaming rotating metric, which is what I use on my own stream. Uh, it's what you're going to see directly below me right here. Uh, that rotating metric. I'll make sure to link that video down in the description on how you can set all that up. That one's really nice. It's also using stream elements, but I want to make sure I direct you to them to learn how to do that one. Uh, but this is how you can do some pretty basic latest follower, latest sub. You can adjust again, go in near here, uh, adjust your fonts, uh, adjust the sizing if you want it to be you know, larger or smaller. Um, yeah, you can kind of get in there and mess with that. Uh, set it up exactly how you want. So next, I want to do the little um, the little cup that things drop in. I'm sure you've seen that on different streams. We're going to hit plus. And if you wanted your stream chat, you could do that right here as well. Um, set up your stream chat, something like this. I'm not a huge fan of having, having chat on your stream, but you can definitely do that. You know, dark chat. I personally like to go custom and have that part transparent, but Perhaps with this one, we'd prefer uh, to have some sort of background color on there. 
So what if we went with a black, but then we lowered the opacity something like that. You know, so it has a little bit of opacity there. Um, and then if we type something in chat, we should be able to see it. So right there is our chat. Now we definitely want to change the chat color for, um, so that we're actually able to see it. Okay, so just like this, you can jump down here into your text settings and go and change a little how you want it. I chose my font, which is Poppins. I changed my size to about 18. Um, and I don't necessarily see a way to um, change the color, which is odd. If you know how to do that, leave it in the comments down below. I thought you could change the text color to like white, but maybe since I don't seem to be able to, I would change my background color to maybe white. Um, and with transparency though, my bad, like that, but with, you know, quite a, make it fairly subtle. Yeah, maybe something like that. Maybe we want to keep our purple color going, um, which I think is what we'll try. We'll try to go with a bit of a purple, a light purple, like that. Yeah, okay, we'll roll with that. That looks pretty good to me. Um, and actually, we'll see what it does when we green screen it out. It may not look that good, but that's how you get your chat on screen. You guys can play around with that how you want. Uh, hit your little plus sign, and you can kind of see there's a lot of stuff going on here. Seasonal, you can do holiday decorations. You can let it snow and, and you know, have snow covering your entire screen. If you want to do that, uh, there's plenty of options. You can always go back here to layers and just delete anything that you don't need, just like that. Okay, now to get the hype cup like we wanted, we go to our alerts, we click hype cup, um, and now from here we can see what's going to show up there. Um, and we can kind of choose if we want it just to be tips and just bits or subs, we can choose it to be that. Um, any of those things we want to do, we can. Uh, I'm going to go to change cup and I'm going to choose the cup that I actually want to use. Um, this sand, this polygonal Santa is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily the direction we want to go. I'm just going to go with just this glass. I think it's nice, sort of what I was originally thinking. It was just the glass. What about this one? Okay. A nice little Easter themed one. What is this one? Okay, I am, yes, I don't even know, but yes, let's go with this, all right? And now I just wanna see what happens. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit, because I've never seen the shark one before and I wanna see what it does. Let's do a 1000 cheer, what happens? All right, that is fire guys, that is fire. Okay, so that's how you set that up. Uh, that one's pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this and we're going to go ahead and offer, copy the overlay URL. Now, let's jump back over here into OBS. And I'm going to go and turn this overlay off because we're going to replace it. I'm going to hit my plus sign. I'm going to go to browser source. And I'm going to say uh, SS and we'll say stream element. I'm going to say SSSE because I know starting soon stream elements. Right? Click OK. Change this to that link that we just copied. Change our size to 1920 by 1080 and then click okay. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now, one thing we wanna make sure we do, we're gonna go into our filters and we're gonna add that chroma key so we can get rid of all the green. And I'm hoping it, yeah, it did kind of mess some stuff up there. That might be the unfortunate part of how we have it set up, um, is at least our chat box. If we do transparency, it's not gonna work. You may have to go with full, um, full opacity rather than making it transparent. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and throw um, some fake bits in there just so we can watch it happen on our screen and see if that affects anything the way we run our chroma key. So let's go, we'll go with the sub. What does sub do? That looks pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm noticing it's not going all the way down so we can make the change just a little bit like that. Uh, let's see what a tip does. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I mean, custom alerts right there. You don't even have to make alerts at this point. They are there. So that is all I would do on the starting soon screen. So let's jump over to our game scene. Now there was our custom transition that we made last time, uh, but real quick, let's jump in. What do we want to make here? Um, I think I might go ahead and add that little shark down here. Um, and then I may add something right here. Um, and in doing that, I think we may have to make this a little bit thicker. I don't think, I didn't realize how thin that was, um, but I'm thinking about adding like our latest sub right there. Or again, you'd use that alpha rotating widget like I have below me. Um, again, video for that will be in the description. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just add a, you know, a um, latest sub right there. All right, so this one is good. I'm just gonna back back out and I'm gonna go to create a whole new one. Now on this particular one, I'm gonna actually separate out the hype cup and um, my latest sub, just so that I can adjust where they go. All right, we'll go latest sub on this one. I'm just gonna add a plus sign. Going to go over here to static, and I'm sorry. We're going to go over here to labels, subscribers, latest, and latest subscriber. 
that before. I'm going to shorten that down to latest sub. Uh, then I'll go to my tech settings. I'm going to change this to poppins. Poppin be poppin. Just kidding. Poppin not be here. There it is. Okay, just like that. Uh, I'm going to take off the tech shadow because I don't really need it. I'm going to save. Copy that over URL. We're going to add this in right here. Again, a browser source. And we'll just say uh, latest sub. Yeah, that's creative. There we go. I'm going to change this again to 1920 by 1080 because that's, that is the original size. And it's going to pop up right there. And I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm just going to move it into size. Uh, now I'm going to use my little trick here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to preview scaling and go canvas 1920 by 1080. And that's just gonna make everything big and weird looking, but I can make fine tune adjustments just like this. Now, if you want that to be larger, like I would want this larger, honestly, um, but I made that bar a little bit too thin. So make that bar a little bit thicker and you should be fine. But there we go. We have that preview scaling, scale to window. Next, I wanna get our little hype cup down there in the bottom. That's what I would use for alerts, uh, maybe on this particular one, make things a little bit easier on me. But if you want to know how to do to make your own alerts, um, I will have a video link down below or up in the card wherever it is, on how I made those alerts. Um, and we actually made alerts in Canva, so pretty easy. Or if you want to do a alert HUD, um, that actually sort of how mine is down here encompasses my rotating widget, but it also is where my alerts play. Whenever I get an alert, um, it covers it up with a color and it says, you know, the name and whatever happened. I have a video on how to do that in Canva and I'll link it down below as well. All right, next we're gonna create a new blank overlay and this will just be for our hype cup. Here, go to alerts, we're gonna go to hype cup and we already know which one we want. We want the shark. Just like that. Yes, over right. And yeah, that looks good to me. And so save, copy, same thing, browser source. And yeah, we'll just call this hype. You can name these whatever you want to help you uh, categorize everything. And there we go. We have our hype cup. And so that is actually gonna double as our alerts. Um, this was a quick way to set some stuff up. Honestly, guys, I recommend Stream Elements. I started off in uh, with Stream Labs. I've tried a few different things. Now I use a combination of Stream Elements and Pixel Chat. Um, there's a few things I just use Pixel Chat for, not a ton. Um, but Stream Elements is a great way to go. And, and honestly, if you just get in here and toy around and play around with it, uh, you'll end up with some really, really cool stuff. Uh, just hit this plus sign and, and just try out everything that's here. There's a ton of engagement tools, uh, a ton of neat things that you can do with it. If you have any questions at all, I'm not an expert, but I will do my best. So you can leave them down in the comments and I'll try to help out in any way I can. Anyway, guys, if you're not already, be sure you sub to this channel because I'm making videos just like this every single week. Also, hey, follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., and I would love for you guys to come hang out. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, okay, here goes. Here goes. Oh, it's so hot instantly.